Hello, uh, this is Abdurrahman speaking, and I would like to give you a very brief overview about our article entitled The Synthesis Characterization Antibacterial in Antituberculous Activity and Molecular Docking of 2-3 Disubstituted Cunazolinone Derivatives. It's well known that there is anniversary relationships in between the number of drugs, antibacterial drugs currently reaching to the market and the incidence of multi drug resistance bacteria. And according to WHO, tuberculosis was responsible for the days of uh, 1.6 million pupils just in 2003. So those factors then stated for increased effort in order to develop antibacterial and antituberculous drugs. And in our effort to develop dual acting antibacterial and antituberculous drugs, uh, we focused on cunazolinones because cunazolinones are well known for their versatile biological activity and some researchers uh, give the hint that they do exhibit significant antibacterial and antituberculous activity. <clears throat> so in the present study we synthesized seven different to methylcunazolinone derivatives and seven different to phenylcunazolinone uh, derivatives. The antibacterial activities of uh, all synthesized compounds were investigated using agar uh, plate methods and accordingly compound number 5G and compound number 8D was found to show significant activity against gram-positive uh, bacteria. This structurally can be translated as the presence of NN dimethyl guanidine group or 2,4-dinitro Phenyl hydrazine as position number three of cunazolinone was found uh, to increase activity against uh, gram positive bacteria. All of the synthesized compounds they were also investigated uh, or screened for their uh, antituberculous activity using micro uh, alamar uh, technology or method. Accordingly, uh, compound number uh, 5B uh, and compound number AC was found. Uh, to exhibit uh, a very high antituberculous activity. Structurally, this was translated that the presence of etiamido uh, or guanidine group at position number three of cunazolinones can greatly increase antituberculous uh, activity. <clears throat> and we also adopted the, the synthesized compounds again as the INH enzymes of the mycobacterium tuberculosis. This was performed in order to identify the binding affinity of the synthesized quinolones against this enzyme, which in turn will help in order to identify if there exist any relationships in between the binding affinity and the, the massive value of quinolones-based antituberculous uh, compounds. Accordingly, uh, the compound uh, from the two methyl series, compound number 5G, exhibited the highest binding affinity against this enzyme. Uh, moreover, the 2-phenyl series was found to be more active than uh, the 2-methyl uh, series of cunazolinone uh, compounds, in particular compound number uh, 8E and compound number 8G showed the highest binding uh, affinity. Uh, to conclude, the presence of amido, uh, the presence of tioamide or guanidine group at position number Three of quinazolino was found to greatly increase the antibacterial activity, and similarly, the presence of uh, the presence of uh, 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine or the dinn dimethyl guanidine group at position number three of quinazolino was found to increase the activity against gram-positive bacteria. Thank you.